السلام علیکم میرا نام ڈاکٹر غلام مصطفیٰ ہے ہم نے یہ پہلا لیکچر لیا ہے ایک دو لیکچر لیے تھے لیکن ڈیو ٹو ایپیڈیمک آف کرونا جو ہے ویکیشن اسٹارٹ ہوگی ہم یہ لیکچر کو رپیٹ کریں گے ایک دفعہ تاکہ ٹرائل اور ایرر ہو جائے ہم فردر یوٹیوب چینل بھی کریٹ کر رہے ہیں تاکہ جو ہے ہم اچھے طریقے سے پڑھ کے کرونا وائرس کو ہم ڈیفیٹ کر سکیں سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ وتھ آل دو دس از اے ریمائنڈر آف دا پریویس کلاسز وی ہیو ٹیکن ٹو آر تھری کلاسز آئی تھنک سو بٹ لیٹر آن وی ول اپلوڈ آل دیز مٹیریل اوور دیئر ان دیٹ از گوگل کلاس روم Uh, today we are going to discuss, as we have discussed before, uh, this uh, scarcity and choices, what is microeconomics and how it is differentiated from macroeconomics, what is the rational behavior, how we make the choices uh, due to the scarcity and uh, uh, again we will discuss unlimited wants and how the utility can be maximized. This is uh, what uh, uh, microeconomics, we talked about that, that how people make their choices. Uh, I, many time I talk to the students, they reported uh, when I asked that uh, why you took the admission here, most of the students reported that uh, because there was no options, uh, there was no merit, and these kind of Uh, answers most of the time I got from 70 to 80 percent student reported these questions that's what choices is that when the peoples are given the choices they make their rational behavior when the choices mean simple definition of microeconomics how people make their choices that's what microeconomics just simple definitions uh, That's how people make their choices. When the peoples are given the choices, they make their better decisions. They perform better. When you are given the choices, you have the only choices, University of Education. It's a good, I, I, I respect your choices. But most of the time, students there told that we, don't have, we didn't have any choice. That's what, I mean, the study the people's behavior when they are given the choices for instance you go to the 70 percent marks good enough so what will happen that if you will given the admission in cambridge school you will outperform you will be a you know nominated persons after graduating although we are also competing in such schools with the limited resources but again Uh, that's what we accept this one that you will perform better if you will be given admission according to your choice so you will perform better that's what microeconomics is it's a very much important uh, particularly microeconomics study the microeconomics it's a very much important regarding you know decisions making uh, in every field of life in whole economies in everywhere we are talking about the economics and this is very much important in that sense to making the decisions to uh, you know uh, for the economies for the individuals these are very much important and it's also very much important with respect to the bbs students uh, because you will be a business manager after graduating so you better know what is the demand of the people how much you have to supply so when you will you know the consumer behavior we will study in this microeconomics consumer behavior when you don't know what is the demand what is the consumer behavior and if you know these things you will you will outperform you will perform better in you as a manager of any company as a business owner as a business manager you will perform better uh, the microeconomics basically uh, is when we talk about the individuals for a firm for any mean uh, for individual firm 
these these are the when we we studied the single unit when we studied the a person this is a microeconomics macroeconomics somehow is a different also it's a very interlinked and uh, it's somehow derived from the microeconomics but macroeconomics is what when we studied the whole economy as a whole when we studied the economy and the nations nation national economy this is what macroeconomics is uh, as we have talked before the simple definition of microeconomics microeconomics is the study of how people here people mean the consumer student customer firms these are the people how people make their choices and i put here this is my own definition based on literature view and later on we will come on a formal some formal definitions and here is the citrus paribus it's also pronounces real pronunciation is cactus paribus but citrus paribus other things remain same other else uh, other things remain constant when when i talk to the students so many students mean 10 to 15 percent student reported that because this university is near to my house that's why i took this admission this is what his or her preferences so when we see when we keep these preferences when we uh, uh, other things we uh, preferences uh, some financial constraint of course all most of your students cannot go to the cambridge cannot go to the harvard so these are some constraint other things when we keep these thing constant and when people are given choice they will perform better and this is somehow simple definition for understanding so when the people are given choices they perform better so when you have some alternatives when you you know the alternatives their cost benefit analysis and how many alternatives how many options are there for instance if i will go to the any any shop for a, a grocery shop or some a clothing shop he will show me so many so many uh, these shirts so then i have to make the choices i know what is the color of one shirt to the second shirt third shirt what is the price of first shirt second shirt and third shirt and then what is the durability when i will see all these things then i will see my budget and this what budget is that's the constraint due due to these constraint i will make the choice and i will select the better shirt this is how how microeconomic help you to select these things next uh, these choices alternatives these actually help these well i i have some limited resources i have the few budgets in my my pocket these budget these concept this simple simple we will generalize these things this will help me to make the choices so first the first and foremost thing that help to make the choice that is the budget that's my pocket that's my my budget constraint this is also called the scarcity this scarcity help me to make the choices this is number first that and this is uh, this these choices are important when when uh, i was given some choices uh, definitely i perform outperform and this this will help me you know uh, why i am selecting the particular shirt why you took the admission here when the choices are there why you ch choose the lungs and because i will choose the better it will maximize my my satisfaction my utility later on we will also talk about the what is the utility but when the people that given the choices they perform better but why they perform better because by doing this their utility can be maximized imagine if the uh, you know this merit is a constraint other things remain constant don't think that um, first i accept that 70% is a good grade 70% 72% merit is a good grade it's a not to I mean it's a brilliant students but if they were given the choices and when the choices other things remain constant this is this is how I mean scientists move they keep the something constant 
to study something. We are studying choices and so we keep the other thing constant. Here constant, we are constant, we are holding some constraint constant that is that is budget constraint, that is the merit problem, merit constraint. But if these problems will not there, merit problem will be not there. If you are given that, you, you know, uh, admission in, in LUMS or somewhere in Harvard University, you will perform better and it will maximize your utility. So, uh, the, the studying of choices is a very vast topic. Uh, we are just uh, highlighting something. There is a lot of Amartya Sen, uh, the winner of the Nobel Prize, uh, who wrote this book, Development as a Freedom. He talked about all these things of choices, how the, when the peoples are given choices, how they perform better and how uh, I mean, uh, the country and individual dwelt when they are given the freedom, freedom from the choice. Freedom comes when they have choices. So uh, somehow I link this book, uh, uh, Freedom uh, Development as, as a Freedom, as so many utility maximization choices. He discussed a lot, although he discussed some microeconomics and macroeconomics, but fundamental theme is this that when the peoples are given choices, any individual, when a person are given choices, uh, freedom, he perform better and that is ultimately will be helpful for the country. When any institutes, when any uh, I mean country, when the society, media and in these things, when they were given the freedom choices, they perform better through the maximizing of the utility of their satisfaction. So this is a very good book for just uh, casual reading. This is not including in your course, but uh, if you will study this book, this will be a wonderful uh, experience. Uh, it's a very good book regarding the choices and freedom and alternative options and these things. Uh, then the, and they, there is a formal definition of the microeconomics. This is the, the previous one is the simple definitions. Now we are discussing about the any formal definitions. Lot of, I uh, mean, uh, in there are so many books of microeconomics and so many other, uh, uh, I mean, uh, economists are there who define the microeconomics. The time, the economic times, uh, one of the famous, uh, uh, this publisher, the economic times, uh, they, uh, he, they defined the microeconomics is the study of individual household and firm behavior in decision making and allocation of resources. That's how any firm, individuals and institutes make the decisions of from the available resources for so they that how they allocate the resources that is the scarce resources available resources to maximize in case of individual maximize utility in case of firms allocation of the resources to maximize the profit that is a simple definition it generally applies to the market of goods and services and deal with individuals and economic issues. That is, uh, this is not only for any particular product, but also for the services as well. And then uh, there is another definition of uh, Broccoli and Broccoli. Uh, that is uh, Andrew Broccoli and Paul W. Broccoli. Uh, they defined the uh, microeconomics, the study of individual decision making units such as individual households and firm. This is uh, like very simple definition. Uh, that's how individual and household as a decision making, how they make the decisions from the sources. There is another definition from McConnell and Brew. The, it's the social science concern with how individual institution and society make optimal choice under the condition of scarcity. This is a very good uh, uh, definitions. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, uh, either microeconomics is a social science or science or arts. Uh, we will discuss it uh, in detail somewhere in next classes. Uh, however, uh, other things are very much important, particularly choices. We discuss the choices, how people make the choices under the condition of scarcity. 
when you will see the almost all books of the microeconomics this is uh, a start from here that is the problem scarcity um, now when you will uh, consult your this uh, contents uh, this is this is written in your uh, in your book that is scarcity i mean scarcity here uh, there is a available sources that's the natural sources uh, mineral and these things and then human resources that's population and these these in these institutions manufacturing sectors these are some resources and these are very limited and this limited resources and this is written in your contents and most of the microeconomic start from here that's the resources are very scarce um, although I mean it's a justifiable uh, the available the resources are limited limited yes it's these are limited when we see the people's want people choices with regard to the uh, unlimited wants of the people yes of course these uh, these available resources are very scarce and very limited uh, with respect to the with respect to the people's unlimited wants uh, but i don't uh, uh, the available facts don't I mean there is uh, no problem of scarcity uh, i have my this school of thoughts and i will justify in next few slides uh, for instance uh, choices as uh, with res with respect to the unlimited wants yes i do uh, i do accept that the available sources are scarce and i told you the what is the resources what are the scarce resources that's the uh, natural resources that's a land and uh, minerals and these kind of things uh, we have yes we have some these scarce resources and then human capital and then uh, then we have some uh, manufacturing sector and these things of course uh, i'm repeating this sentence that's this is scarce so these these resources are scarce with respect to the unlimited wants i want to be a king i want to be a prime minister of pakistan i want to be a you know these are, but either every person want to be a like maybe a prime minister maybe a king maybe a queen maybe a I mean every person with regard to the wishes yes the available sources are scarce but scarcity is still a questionable i mean when we see the facts uh, i i think that uh, resources are not scarce but the resources are abundant its management is mismanagement is creating the problem uh, like in case of uh, we are seeing there the problem of food security that's problem food foods are scarce yeah it's not problem of food scarce, scarcity from the 1950 and 1960 after the green revolutions imagine that food resources increased more than that of population growth rate but the poverty again and hunger and these thing increased why because there is a misallocation of resources mismanagement similarly population that is the labor labor resources yes it has increased if we we are mean resources are scarce scarcity first scarcity is the being food and these resources these has increased and uh, uh, other population is also increased but we mean as a leader of the world they mismanaged they couldn't provide them enough skills to mean earn to mean population and labor is is not anything mean the skill labor and skill population uh, skilled and educated population is most important thing than that of the just numbering and increasing the populations these things uh, are there but however these scarcity leads to to make the choices and we have discussed before that these scarcity but regarding the unlimited wants the sources are scarce scarcity 
limited resources are there so these limited resources make us the choices in case of we are we talked about the students performance and student uh, choices regarding selecting the business school uh, yes there are some many many choices are there in within the pakistan there is some schools in islamabad business schools are there in karachi but why you selected this one because available available business schools they are they are very scarce imagine you go to the 70 some of the student less than 70% they couldn't get the admissions and we started the admission very late so again mean there are very limited resources limited business schools and these limited resources help to help you to make the choice and then when the peoples are given choices they make the rational rational decision rationality comes here when the peoples are given the choices they make the rational decision why you will not go why did you not go to the uh, karachi business school why did you go uh, uh, go to um, uh, this islamabad business school somewhere there will be some business schools will be there why did because when you calculate it might be you didn't do this one we will <coughs> we will later on in uh, over second or third class we will see that in the reality this phenomena works might be you didn't work but somewhere in your consciousness this work has already done when you select this uh, 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 business school of uh, uh, university of education this helped you uh, uh, to to come here because this is viable this is rational decision to come here this is when there is some subconsciousness cost benefit analysis were there that islamabad is too costly uh, its uh, merit issues are there might be merit issues were not there but financial issues are there it's very far away from this lahore so these things are there that's why uh, your rationality decided that this university of education is better one so that's why this rationality somehow uh, somehow mean some of the economists are uh, uh, agreed that economics is a drive from psychology psychology from the people behavior how people behave that economics is drived from psychology and somehow from the political economy when we talk about the macro economics so this economics is a drive economics and drive from the psychology from the people behavior and this this uh, uh, this is this is this is rationality rational rational behavior behavior of the people that is economics is drive from that and in next slide we will discuss this what is the uh, this uh, rationality and how it generated and how it help to make the choices one scarcity help to make the choices and other is rationality help to make the choices and this is uh, uh, we in next uh, next slide we will discuss but let's see how in this whole course what we will study in microeconomics first thing is a demand side consumer behavior we will study the consumer behavior before the mid or uh, somehow we will we will study before the mid that is a basic concept regarding the consumer behavior that is demand side economics and other one is the firm behavior supply side economics that is a production economics this is supply consumer behavior is regarding the regarding the consumer demand and then other one is the supply side is a firm behavior how most of the consumer side is very much important to study because the same concept will be applied to firm behavior supply side so uh, uh, to study the consumer behavior is very much important to understand the uh, firm behavior supply side uh, then when the supplier and uh, uh, demander meet together that is called the market and then we will study the price determinations when the supply and demand interact and then we will study the some market structures uh, different market structures we will study 
in this course so this is the whole concept of this this course that we will study thoroughly in this uh, in this course uh, then we talked about the uh, the rationality what is the rationality there is some axioms of rationality axioms of rational choices uh in some of the book these are written assumptions of the uh, rational choice assumption of rationality but there is a difference in rationality rational uh, there is a difference in axioms not rationality sorry there is a difference in axioms and assumptions assumptions need some proofs uh, either to agree and disagree with any statement with any theory assumptions are are need some proofs but axioms we say that these are the exam that is proven proven from the god from the uh, it these axioms are also called the revealed something revealed from the god and axioms these are the these are the proven these are the proven assumptions and when you will when you will prove these assumption 1000 time the results will be the same that is the axioms but assumptions sometime will be proven sometime will results will be favor sometime result will be positive and sometime result will be negative sometime result will be favorable sometime results will be unfavorable sometime result will be positive sometime result will be negative but the axioms every time results will be the same there is no need to be so there is you have to keep the difference between axioms and assumptions the first axioms of rationality is the completeness uh, that help you to make the choice later on we will study this axioms of how people mean mean how people make their choices the first thing regarding to make the choices that from the in simple definition if a and b are two situations these are the two situations if two situations are available and any individual can always specify exactly one of these possibility at a one time particular time for a particular person this completeness for a, for mustafa for for uh, any abc person these for one person for one particular time that is a is preferred to b this this can be a situation b is preferred to a this can be a situation or a and b are equally preferable the practical example of this one this for example uh, that uh, uh, that is milkshake or tea i preferred milkshake over tea i this might be this is for today i prefer milkshake over tea this is my choice this and this gives the complete information i like juice over coffee it mean the satisfactions given from the juice will be more for me than the satisfaction utility given by the Uh, satisfactions given by the tea i prefer juice in today maybe tomorrow and this is a complete information there is no ambiguity maybe for some other person maybe for me tomorrow that is a tea is will be preferable than juice and maybe this is equally preferable and this is most of every day we encounter these issues for example you go to any any your relatives house they will ask you okay will you take you know garam or thanda you will uh, juice or coffee this is from your subconsciousness you what is your preference you do not calculate microeconomics but microeconomics still works there and uh, you will ask okay take the juice uh, sometime you will say that tea but sometime it doesn't matter anything so these are three situations these give the complete information so these are the things happening every day this is a completeness complete is here also mean this give this statement is giving the complete information complete statement a is prefer to b mean juice is prefer to tea juice gives me the and there is a no ambiguity if i preferred juice over tea 
and these two choices if available to me of course i will i will prefer juice over tea maybe some of you are okay i will take both so it mean again this is a complete information i prefer both are equally preferred this this is the first exams of rationality and then is a transitivity uh, again this is a if a is preferred to b and b is preferred to c then a is preferred to c and assumes that individual choices are internally consistent I mean in this case if a is preferred to b and that and any other situation b is preferred to c then definitely a is preferred to c for for example i preferred juice over juice over soft drink pepsi it and pepsi is preferred to tea it means i will prefer juice over tea so these three situations is if available then definitely if a juice is preferred to soft drink or pepsi or coca cola and if coca cola is preferred to tea it means juice is also preferred to tea then continuity it means that if a is preferred to b then situation suitability close to a any situation that is close to a that you can also put the in bracket close to a if a is preferred to b then situation suitability close to a in a or next you can put the bracket any close substitution any close suitability and situ uh, substitution close to a in bracket it can be written c and that c must also be preferred to b for example uh, in in practical i mean uh, in practicality we see that if if juice is preferred to tea and any close substitution that is a milkshake milkshake is closely substituted to juice so from the the very close suitable close substitution to juice that is milkshake milkshake will also be preferred to uh your uh that is tea okay why we as by assuming completeness and transitivity and continuity people are able to rank all possible situation from least desirable to most desirable and this is how people make the choices from the available thing from these exams of rationality people make the choices and they rank the things from least preferable to <coughs> most preferable that is the most desirable most desirable to uh, least desirable to most des desirable and people rank this thing and ranking these ranking these possibility is called utility utility simple meaning is a ranking of ranking of some situation from least desirable to most desirable and here and here there is a fundamental microeconomic principles comes that more is preferred to less that is more is preferred to less and because more will give more satisfaction as compared to the least desirable because if if i will say a is preferred to b it mean utility derived from a is greater than utility derived from b i i get more satisfaction from a over uh, and these and we this this these are examples of I mean individual persons are assumed to be represented by a utility function of the form and when we talk about the bundle of things and we consume every day that is the fundamental principle behind that to maximize utility and where x1 uh, uh, from x1 x2 to xn when we consume bundle of the things juice coffee every day bread you know visiting somewhere and uh, staying with the family soft drinks some i mean uh, these all these goods and services provide us the utility and these x1 and x2 are the quantity of each of n goods that might be consumed in a specific period 
and these are the and these ranking these are order preserving because utilities are order preserving order preserving here simply meaning that uh, uh, ranking or uh, mean uh, order preserving that we we mean actually utility don't have any 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 units they don't have any mean i i took the satisfactions how much we don't know if i say a is preferred to b i mean how much I mean we then we assign some numbers we assign some numbers to these products uh, for example uh, if you will given me the some uh, survey or questionnaire uh, regarding the some some products and goods I mean if a juice is given five number for me i assign the five numbers there if the maximum might be you have filled the questionnaire regarding the teaching performance uh, regarding the teaching performance student ask to rank your teacher you are satisfied to dissatisfy their teaching method and uh, uh, regularity and so many questions will be there that's they are given the numbers if teacher comes on timely i mean then there is there is a one number that is dissatisfied to five number highly satisfied so mean if he is a very punctual so you you give the five number so similarly here for order preserving for the any particular product if i assign juice five number and t two number it just meaning is that juice is preferred to juice is preferred to t juice is preferred to t this simple meaning is juice is preferred to t uh, might be this juice will be a hundred number and uh, uh, t will be a 10 number so it doesn't mean that so 90 percent time more juice is preferable no it just meaning is that juice is more preferred so these are order preserving right uh, this is uh, how i mean uh, we say that utility is somehow uh, order preserving uh, and your utility is also affected by some things that's the consumption of physical pro commodities these how what are the mean how the what are the factor that affect the utility psychological attitudes i like tea it mean i like every time this 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 is my mean psychologically uh, i i okay i mean i like this one i like no, doesn't matter sometimes people says that uh, mean uh, in regarding the cricket match it just it just give us the satisfaction if, if india is losing why well, so many reasons are there but this is a psychological attitude i mean this is this is my uh, i this is my psychological attitude that i don't like this it mean i don't like this i don't like mean if hockey or other other things so this is some psychological this is my uh, uh, internal uh, internal mean i don't like this thing or i like mean i some most of the time you ask to the smoker so why you uh, you know they will the highest preference to smoking this is their psychological attitude some habits are of course are there so this is another uh, factors that affect so they like tea so for the years and years they like tea and this is their psychological attitude and sometimes peer group pressures peer group peer group pressures mean uh, if my friends every time is just going to uh, you know visit some specific area if they are going to mean if they are consuming uh, you know soft drink although i don't i prefer juice of a soft drink so although juices and soft drinks are there in cafeteria but my friends are taking the soft drinks and i'm also taking so peer group pressure is also affecting the utility personal experience uh, uh, for for me mean uh, for mean my personal always my personal experience remained bad with the soft drinks so if the any new soft drinks will come i don't like so my personal experience will also be and for example if for particular products my personal experience remain good and definitely it will affect my utility and uh, then the general cultural environment 
cappuccino there is a no like mean we don't have any cultural uh, you know uh, for example uh, tea it's it almost become has become our cultural uh, environment so we consume the tea and some of the other uh, like new brands of coffee cappuccino and these things this this is not in our culture and that's why uh, we are not consuming this one but other things like lassi and these things this becomes the part of our culture and they will increase our utility and this also affect the utility extent and then we uh, skip the one of the topic that the citrus paribus other things remain constant uh, these are the most important things and also we thoroughly when we will go through this course uh, this will be more ex uh, we will explore this topic in more detail but these things is that other things remain constant this is very much important and uh, most of the scientists do most of the scientists do when they they want to study the uh, impact of particular situation or good on particular uh, situation or good uh, they most of the time they they have most of the thing constant like of any uh, in physics when they want to study the impact of pressure on temperature then the uh, they keep all the other things remain constant that is the uh, you know weight and uh, uh, other conditions and they held other other condition constant uh, similarly we also when we studied the some specific uh topic when we study the some specific good so uh, impact of uh, you know family status on consumptions we keep all other things remain constant when we studied the level of income on consumption impact of rising income on consumption then we keep all other things constant like family status like family size like my personal experience like keep the constant so these things say as catrus paribus assumptions that other things remain constant and this is in most of the discipline uh, uh, scientists and researchers do this one so similarly econo economists do the same things we will more uh, uh, study in about this in next uh, few classes it's too early to be uh, you know to confuse you people uh, so utility from consumption of the good assume an individual must choose among the consumption of good there's n number of goods so how the utility uh, you know we we write uh, show his ranking util using a utility functions of form utility it means return utility is equal to u is equal to x1 x2 and xn that is uh, uh, other things in this format we write the utility often other things are held constant so utility is other things we mostly do not write but if there is only two goods in a simple economy in simple situations it mean if an x and y if there is only two good then the availability and consumption of these two goods give us the utility that is a utility is equal to u is equal to uh, utility u is a function of bo uh, consumption of those both goods so this is uh, in difference curves uh, mean uh, in the next class we will study about this one that uh, in difference curve and marginal rate of substitution in difference curves are in many dimension and difference surface shows a set of consumption bundle about which individual is different that is a bundle bundles of all provide the same level of utility mean this is a consumption bundles that give us the that in difference curve this is the curve on which the utility from the two goods remains same and we substitute these uh, bundle of goods with one another uh, we will uh, talk uh, we will uh, discuss in the next uh, lecture inshallah uh, this is all about uh, today's lecture thank you very much this is about uh, 45 minutes lecture most of the things we have discussed in first two three classes and this is just to uh, i mean just a practicing uh, lecture i'm um, just recording this one on the 
on our uh, slides that's that's our uh, soon you will move on the slides these recording will be there so i recorded this lecture on the uh, powerpoint presentations and uh, the guidelines will be provided uh, uh, when the this lecture will be uploaded on uh, google classroom mm, thank you very much stay tuned stay away from your loved one beat the coronavirus wash your hand frequently and uh, uh, please stay stay at your home this is a very much important uh, this we we have to fight with corona uh, at national level and that what you can do please stay at home wash your hand frequently uh, keep the distance from your friends at least 3 meters uh, so this is very much important uh, i i uh, pray that you are all safe and sound may allah protect you all and may allah bless this our whole nation and pakistan thank you very much